Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here. Just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And here we have Egypt against Italy. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Hi everyone and thanks, Peter. It's great to be on board. Here are the lineups we've just been given. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? I'm going to go for Antonio Candreva because he brings a dynamism to proceedings, fast and direct. He'll engage his fullback in a sprint or two and he can whip in pacey crosses. Not the kind to stand off and allow him to shoot either because he can whack it with the very best. OK, interesting. Floats one over. Marquisio has been caught there. It's a foul. Marquisio looks to slip it through. And he's there to make a great save. Oh, much more than a, than a routine save for me. And, and yet, he just coped with, with room to spare. Well, that should set them on their way and get into a nice... Egypt have a free kick. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. That wasn't the greatest of balls. El Neni with a definite fell there. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Kandreva. Danucci. Ogbonna. Rolo. It's Salah! A wonderful effort all by himself. Oh, that's just lovely skill. He's certainly a player who can single-handedly make a difference. Great talent. leap and he's there to hoof it away ball is over the line Salah can he find a finish now clears it out of harm's way 
Marco Verratti. And it's Salah. Can he finish? Marco Verratti. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Belts one. Gave it a go, but off target. Well, that's understandable because they haven't found it easy against this defence. And shooting from that sort of range, it's not the answer. Tries to get it forward quickly. Plenty of endeavour from either side, but not much of it in the vicinity of either goal. Some front foot football needed. Gets it back. Header! He's got away with one there. Benucci. Lorenzo Insigne. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Shapes the shoot. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Mohamed Salah. Chance. It's a goal kick. Marco Verratti. Kandreva. Mohamed Salah. On a charge down the left. Salah. Pumps it into the area. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Lorenzo Insigne. That'll be a throw in. Ferretti has gone out. Di Natale. Lorenzo Insigne. In with a header. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, I think you can only praise that sort of alertness and the way he almost knew what was going to happen. And he got there really early. That was top stuff for me. Benucci. Marco Verratti. Ogbonna. Marquisio. Kandreva. He's away! Away from immediate danger. So nil-nil still, but both sides have had their moments. Marquisio battles to win it back. Lorenzo Insigne. Kandreva. Marco Verratti. And he has been fouled there. I've managed to get it away. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Insignia! Mohamed Salah. Decent progress down the left. And it's Salah. Mohamed Salah. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge.
Lorenzo Insigne. Parolo. Well, that's surely a foul free kick. And we hit half-time. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. So off we go once more. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but a, a lack of quality with the finishing has left us hoping that someone can step up and produce something a little more magical. Marco Verratti. Mohamed Salah. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. The shot's on! Oh, the ball's come. He's scored! Well, when one or two others were maybe a tad slow at restarting this game, then up steps a big character who was simply switched on and bright, and he sparked another advantage for his team at an important stage. It augurs well. Buffon reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was are absolutely top-notch. Egypt, draw first blood here. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. And that's a throw-in. Bonucci. Marchisio. Parolo. El Neni. It's a loose ball. Mohamed Salah he is effectively being marked out of the game here. Well, they seem intent on marking him out of the game. They're certainly trying to wind him up in the process, Peter. Oh, he's found him in space. No mistake. And with that goal comes comfort. Ah, uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserve to. Egypt take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Looks like a good ball through. Salah. A chance! That intervention was very necessary. That's gone a long way up and away. 
Italy uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Brought forward, what does he try from here? Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. Well, the precision wasn't quite in keeping with the quality of the strike, but there was lots of power behind it. He put on quite a show there. I would agree. Uh, it's tremendous play. He's full of belief and imagination and hard to contain. Benucci. Marco Verratti. Egypt yet to make a change here. That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Has a look and has a go. El Nenny. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? Aimed long and direct. Parolo. Now that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Some astute defending to ensure they got no further. And it's Marquisio. Marquisio. Tries lifting it over. Mohamed Salah. Who's made his mark on this game. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Mohamed Salah. Looking to shoot. Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. And if they don't get the job done from here, he'll look back on that moment and know he should have made it a three goal cushion. Should have finished things off. Oh, he really wanted that. Well, he went at it with great confidence, and it's not going to stop him from trying again. Florenzi, Marquisio, Ogbonna, Benucci. Corner it is. Shapes the shoots. Big relief. It just needed better contact. I think he's done very well to get into such a good position in front of goal, but he just couldn't put in the telling touch. Florenzi. Egypt still 2-0 up and looking now to see it through. Florenzi. Ferretti. Unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Aimed forward. And now they can launch a counter. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Has a pop! They are rampant! And surely that settles it. A pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting.
free without reply. This is becoming a stroll. El Neni gets it back. Mohamed Salah goes steaming forward. Whistle's gone and they've got themselves a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. That is a class save. He had to be at his best. Benucci. Ogbonna. El Sharawi. Marco Verratti. Marquisio. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Egypt, winners of a no contest. They just swamped their opponents in superior quality. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? What I most admire about this outfit is the cohesion and the willingness to work hard as a unit and getting behind the ball.